Okay, so here we have the scroll saw. Scroll saw, whenever you come up to the scroll saw, the first thing you want to do is check for blade tension. So by doing that, you can adjust the tension on the back. So if you come up to the machine, all right, and you see that the blade is loose, all right, you turn the tension knob in the back of the machine here to the right, and you want to make sure that you hear a nice ping sound. Right. That's tight. You also want to come in here and you want to see that make sure the teeth are facing forward and down. Alright? So that they're set properly. Okay? The on-off switch is on the front of the machine here. So turn on, off, and when you turn it on, you can also adjust the speed here. You can increase the speed or decrease the speed depending on the uh, thickness of the stock. Okay? So here we're going to be cutting out the word Mary here. And because the blade is so thin, it allows you to cut very intricate details here. Okay? Okay? So you want to increase the speed so it's about halfway. Your fingers, alright, you want to keep them at least five, six centimeters away from the blade. Your stance, left foot forward, right foot back. Also important when you're cutting, if you don't hold the piece down, it'll chatter like that, you don't have control. So you want to make sure you have good pressure when you're cutting. So good pressure, holding your stock down onto the table. So you got to adjust, make sure that the stock doesn't hit you. So left hand, I'm right handed. Left hand is behind the blade. And I'm alternating my hands from left to right. Making sure that I never put my hand directly in front of the blade, always to the side. Stop the machine here so just remove any of the off cut pieces. Here. A nice feature of this Excalibur is that you can actually loosen the holder here and take the blade out of the holder, lift this up, and I can put the blade through a hole. So and then I can reattach so it's tight. And I reset the white knob here. So I'm just going to cut out the A. So I loosen that, undo the blade, and lift it up. And now I've cut out the hole for the A there. Okay, and I can continue cutting. So this is the scroll saw 101. And then I can also, before you finish, you want to plug in a vacuum. Just a quick vacuum. And leave it clean. Body. So it's nice and clean. Vacuum the table. And the motor. And that's scroll saw 101.